Hi, my name is Alex Chance. Uh, this is my website, sourcelessness.com. Uh, essentially, this is a uh, non duality based, I would say, but uh, I had an experience when I was a kid and uh, It always led me to believe that time and space does not exist. I, there never was a time when I was a kid and all this time to, to where I am now doesn't exist in a linear fashion. Um, so I came up with my own ways of explaining um, what I seemed to experience and uh, the fact that reality uh, isn't real as it is traditionally understood, existence doesn't exist as it is traditionally understood. I don't think most people understand it at all. Nobody does actually, but it's just, uh, I've come up with different ways of explaining why it's unknowable, why nobody can know. And, the interesting part about it was, is I set out to find out, you know, I wanted to know what it was that I had experienced. And I know this is going to get wishy-washy, but, you know, this is really, language is not going to do me very well here. But I was shown some things, and some things have come to fruition uh, in my life, and, you know, stuff like that, where it just doesn't seem like time and space exists. And um, so I knew I would be here now explaining this as a bedridden, you know, cripple um, now. Uh, I was shown it. I was shown that I would be seen or I would be uh, answering questions in a bed that I couldn't leave, you know. And so... Here I am, um, talking about all the ways that I learned how I can't explain what happened that day, you know, that, you know, that moment. I don't know how to say it. Um, I found out about non-duality not too long ago, uh, and I said, oh my gosh, there, you know, that's it. But it turned out it wasn't really um, exactly what I wanted to say. So that's why I decided to open up my own page. And uh, here we are. Um, I hope if you are interested in just having a conversation about, um, well, just about anything, I'm open to it. Uh, personally, I love talking about uh, space and time and dimension and a lack of a cause for what seems to be this effect. Uh, I could drive my friends crazy about it, actually. Uh, but that's my my primary choice of conversation, sourcelessness, uh, talking about how this moment doesn't really exist in a, a time and a space. It's, it's not a position. It's not something that uh, you can hold on to or grab or explain in, in so many words. And so as my vocabulary gets better on the subject and as you know we learn how to communicate with each other learn how we use these words we can um discuss it further what it what it means to be an apparent human being that doesn't really have a tether to an objectively real uh existence in that you know, you can't really know the source of your thought or perception. We can get into all of that. 
there's all kinds of different uh, fun ways to explore this tetherlessness, this, this completely random and free and chaotic uh, adventure. Um, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. Welcome to my page. Please give me a call if you have a long time. Thanks.